So this is our new SQ3000 3D AOI optical inspection system with our new interface. Uh, we've designed this to be very similar to our SPI interface and to be cross-platform so your operators can easily go from one system to the other. Um, we have several modules in our software. We have an inspection module, defect review module, teach, settings, and tools. Uh, this is a HD 24 inch uh, display with touch capability. Nice big buttons that are intuitive to the operator so they can see what the button, you know, they can look at it and understand what the button means. From this start button, or I can simply hit the start button on the front of the machine. It's going to bring that panel in, clamp it, and it's going to start doing its inspection. It goes and finds the FIDs and is now taking an optimized path around the board to take images and height map information for all the components that are to be inspected. Now that it's done capturing images, it's still processing. Defect review is going to pop up, and now we have defect review open. So the system automatically switches to this review module. It brings up a list of all your defects along the left here. First one's highlighted, which is the one selected here. It shows you two images. This is the article under inspection, and it's got a red box rounding indicating that it's a failure. And this is your golden example. This is what it, the part is supposed to look like. We failed a text inspection, and it's basically a wrong component. You can see here that it's 680 as opposed to 750. So I'm going to classify that as a wrong component. Here is our SOT23 component that is upside down that I pointed out earlier. Good component here on the right. You can see all the leads are down to the surface of the board and these you can see are all pointed straight up in the air. It failed the body and it failed all three of the leads. So all three of the leads also failed. Next component, this one failed a body coplanarity test. And this is the first component that I cropped out to show you. This, this is the component that's, that's lifted on the one side. You can see our golden image is, is uh, coplanar. And this one, the surface of the body is not coplanar with the surface of the board indicating there's something wrong. Uh, the failure indicator here is, is this line, this red line showing you that it's sloped and it's actually giving you uh, a threshold measurement of 100 microns and this one is failing at just over 300 microns. That's the delta between the low side to the high side. Next component that failed is this QFP lead measurement. This is the one with the slightly lifted lead. You can clearly see that. This lead right here is lifted up off the surface of the board. We have a 50 micron threshold, and that one's measuring at 100 microns. And that's a delta measurement between all the rest of the leads and that lead that's an outlier. It's, it's 100 microns higher than the leads adjacent to it. So lifted lead. Once I've completed categorizing all these, my verification done button lights up. When I click on that, it'll switch back to the ins uh, inspect inspection module. What I would like to point out though is that if you uh, override the system and say that everything passes, when you hit verification done, the system's auto automatically gonna start back up and continue inspecting the next panel. Since I have some failures here, verification done is just gonna take me back to the inspection module and then the operator will be required to interact with the system to start it back up, remove the defective board and then start the system back up.